And this is going to be an interesting matchup. Absolutely. I mean, again, you talk about two teams that are right there, as we saw the eight and nine on the fringe of the playoffs, the offense and defense, both incredibly close. Matter of fact, Northern Ascendancy, uh, again, just the one extra goal. They're currently in ninth for offense. Of course, Kova in 10th. And then again, just the one spot, the one goal to differentiate them from there. There is a big advantage on the special teams for Kova, which we'll get into throughout this break, uh, throughout this breakdown here, leading in to our first game of the day. But absolutely, I mean, you're looking at two teams that it is razor thin margins separating some of these teams right now. And perhaps no better matchup better personifies that than the eight and the nine with one team on the outside looking in as it stands. And those special teams things, as you mentioned, we will be getting into because we do believe that those will play a factor in our first doubleheader. Strong lineup for both teams. For Kova, you have the captain in zip player, Honelli, one of the best names in this league, if I do uh, dare say so myself. And of course, Veluxitz on the right-hand side as well. Defensively, two players we're going to be talking about a lot today in Fakiri and Sockham and Monkey Head, of course, between the pipes. On the other side for Northern Ascendancy, Dillinger, the captain of the team in Martindale and Uigelson. Dunkelia Totali on defense. Supreaks between the pipes for them. Final 15 seconds, real time 10, nice little dangle, getting in, cross ice pass on the one timer and with seven and a half seconds left, the goal put in, oh Nelly, what a goal. I knew you'd take advantage of that call opportunity, I know I did the first time I got the call a Kova game this season, like I said, one of the better names in the league for the sake of commentary. A really unfortunate turn of events there for Northern Ascendancy, just got caught with the speed down that left hand side, zip player, able to find Honelli, who again, uh, you know, the lowest goal total amongst the three forwards, but it's not for a lack of ability. He gets that goal. Huge, huge goal for Kova. Staying on side is Northern Ascendancy in the corner. Try to spin it back. Quick shot again. Blocker save made. They keep trying to sneak that puck in between the blocker, the shoulder, and the post. But here's a breakaway the other way. Kova taken down, and a penalty shot is coming up for Valakset. The leading goal scorer for Kova Esports. We talked about it, Northern Ascendancy, maybe trying to get that defense involved. They're getting caught. It happened again. Huge opportunity for Kova to double up the lead. Big test. Valakset versus Supriex. Going slow. Hesitation. Backhand and still scores. Supriex was not going to commit to any of the moves. Did not seem to get faked out, but Valakset founds a gap between the glove and the post and makes it 2 nothing. Another one off of a turnover in the defensive end by Northern Ascendancy, but now they're rushing with the puck. Centering feed, the backhander, and they score. The lead has been cut in half. The goal, the captain, Martindale, Icebox, picking up the marker. You know it's a nice goal when our producer, who's new to the scene, even uh, reacts to the goal. A wonderful pass. There on the backhand from Dillinger. Tremendous patience on display there. And at that point, that's an incredibly tough spot for Monkeyhead because on the backhand, you don't know if that shot's coming from Dillinger. You need a superhuman reaction time to react to that pass. Huge goal from Martindale. Northern Ascendancy back in it. The net may have been trying a centering feed, but lost the puck as he shot it off the back of the net. Northern Ascendancy trying to get it in deep in the offensive end. They do. It's in the slot and a goal. We're tied. A huge play there for Northern Ascendancy. It's Eagleson finding the back of the net. The leading goal scorer for this team. A tremendous passing display there once they recovered the puck. Quick passes. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. They get the puck to the danger area. It's knocked loose. And Yoigelson was right there, right place, right time. And again, for Monkey, had two chances in a row for the opposition where you would have needed superhuman reaction time to come up with the save. Long play of the puck, staying in the zone momentarily, but it was cleared out anyway, picked up by Dillinger. Uh, that last goal technically unassisted. Martindale and Dillinger each touched the puck uh, 
leading up to that goal. There's a centering feed, the rebound, and it's tucked in with 4.14 to go, just like that. The lead once again belongs to Kova. Get the puck to the danger areas, and you never know what will happen. Veluxit is there, leading goal scorer on this team. We see uh, the main offensive threats going head to head here. Again, another kind of broken play off of the pass in front by Zip player. Had the charged up backhand, maybe not his intended target on the far side. But again, sometimes when you have two teams that are so evenly matched, it's going to come down to the lucky breaks. Here comes Northern Ascendancy in the offensive end, dumping it in deep, chasing it down. Dillinger in the corner, handed ahead, a couple passes, the puck loose right in front of the crease, but it was scooped up by Fakiri and played out. Now a breakaway. Zip player to put it away, backhander, kick save made. Zip player scoops it back up, 13 seconds in the corner. Held in the opposite corner now, just all beneath the goal line, trying to kill off some time here. Reluxit, it, force of the corner boards, four seconds left, and that will do it. Puck back to center ice. Kova picks up the win. Two clean points as they're now up to 27 points in the standings and just two behind Northern Ascendancy with one head-to-head -head matchup left between these teams coming up in just a few moments. What a win. What a finish to that game. A tremendous display there by Supreeks at the end of the game doing everything he could to keep his team in it. Unfortunately, though, just too little too late for Northern Ascendancy, not able to get the offense on the flip side and really, you know, make the most of that great effort from their goaltender. A huge sigh of relief from the Kova Esports side of things right now. You blow a two goal lead, but you do get the goal right back. It ends up being the winner. A fantastic game from Biloxit with those two goals. And like we said, both of these teams struggling heading into this matchup. Just one win uh, between the two teams in their last four games. Wilhelmin ykköskentä pakkeina uudet tulokkaat. Sour cream snacks ja flaming hot snacks. Kotikatsomoissa mukana. Wilhelm snacks it. Up on your screen is Kova. They are in the navy black color. And Northern Ascendancy coming down your screen. They're in that off-white Long shot taken from the point. Nice blast by Sockham, but it was deflected wide into the corner. Quick little wrap try. And getting there and covering up was Supreeks. That was a really dangerous play. I've stopped pointing them out. There have just been so many in this game. Forever present. Gigantic hit. It's what you're going to see between these two teams. Quick feed on the one-timer in the goal. You Eagleson puts his team on top after getting dominated for so long. Northern Ascendancy gets the first goal of the game. And that could be the season for Kova right there. A heartbreaker. Obviously, now you hope for overtime. Desperately, you hope for overtime to at least get a point out of this. But as it stands, we would be seeing Northern Ascendancy regain that four-point lead over Kova with both teams having just four games to play. Northern Ascendancy may have just secured their spot in the playoffs. 33 seconds. Can Kova finally find that goal that they're so desperate for? Held in by the D, now down low. Honelli centering feed, the one-timer sent wide. Veluxton had a great chance from the low slot area on the feed from Honelli, but denied. Empty net. Goaltender's on as an extra attacker. Final 12 seconds on the rush. What can they do? A penalty taken by Northern Ascendancy. It's a trip with 10.3, so it will be a six on four for the final 10 seconds. Now the upside for Northern Ascendancy is you win this draw, send it the length of the ice. No icing is possible. That would probably end this game. For Monkey had to get to the front of the net here as the extra attacker. Puck force towards the corner. Final six seconds. What can they do? D to D, the blast blocked in traffic. Loose in front, the puck sent on net. Couple saves made, covered up, and that is it. Supreek stays tall, stands strong, and picks up his first shutout of the season as Northern Ascendancy earns the 2-2 split in points with Kova likely locking them in to a playoff spot. An incredible turn of events there, and I, I'm running out of ways to describe what we just saw in that series, knowing the importance of it. An incredible scramble there at the end by Supreek, able to keep them out. And again, we know we talked about it. This is a guy... Uh, entered play uh, third all-time in shutouts in league history 
yet to have one on the season. That's number 64 in his incredible ECL career. Mukana matseissa ja kotikatsomoissa. Wilhelm snacks it.